Welcome to Rory Models Daily Vlog. Here we are on Thursday, the 10th of March, 2016. And today I've been doing reviews. Um, this little gem is up with you today. So you get up on the site now, you can see this one. Um, what can I say? It's been long anticipated. Always wanted to do a Shackleton. Saw the FX one. Wasn't impressed. Well, I was impressed. It was all right. It was a Shackleton, but I wanted this version. I was a bit disappointed when the other version came out. So when the AEW two came out, I was just like, "Brilliant! Let's do it!" Absolutely. So I must admit, the uh, Kit Buyers Club ordered a load, and it was a case of right, okay, you know, I've got to have one of these. And then now I've reviewed it, I'm going to be building it. There's no ifs, buts, or maybes. I love it in this grey scheme. I know it's really boring and that, but how can you get excited over grey? This aircraft will lend itself well because of the walkways, you're all in the yellows, the round doors, the things like that on here. Things just like this work so well with washes and weathering and fading techniques and things like that because it's like a blank canvas and you can sort of just blend and do things with colours. So, you know, it's not going to be anytime soon. I've got other things on the go. I've got the Halifax just started and things like that, well, obviously being a multi engine bomber. Um, but definitely for an updated, the last of the props, if you like, obviously this thing is a counter rotating uh, prop aircraft. Um, just be one of those things, just want to do it. So definitely going to be a bit of a must. And spoiler alert, it's brilliant. Really, really nice. I can't find many faults in this one at all. The only thing is with it, there's just a couple of little issues I think you're going to have problems with. One is the riveting isn't consistent right the way over it. The engines, for some reason, they seem to be a lot more heavy than the rest of the aircraft. But generally, it looks really nice. It's just that going to be joining the aircraft and the glass work. I can see that being a little bit of a handful but generally it's okay. Up with you tomorrow, one of the reviews, I might get another one done, so I wanna do the Zvezda MiG-29 as well, but I've already recorded this one for the AMX. This is another little one which you never think about. It's one of those things, you're like, yeah, an AMX, what's one of them? It's an aircraft, isn't it? I did a little bit of research because I didn't have a clue about this tank whatsoever. So I did the old YouTube Google search with it and uh, saw a couple of things on it. And I just didn't realize there was that many of them floating around. 7,700 made, 4,000 were export items. It's been all around the world for this light tank. Obviously, Israeli Defense Force had them as well. And it's got this thing with the entire turret traverses up and down. Uh, whereas normally it's just the barrel and they have the mantle at the front. The entire thing does it on this. Weird design and it's tiny, but looks to be a really nice kit, apart from the tracks which seem to be a bit, you know, a bit... I don't know how you're going to work those, but generally it's one of those kits which is, you know, probably nice to do of an overlooked little bit of armour and all the rest of it. So they're up with you today. Now, as promised, I have had a delivery in, and seeing as you loved the unboxing video I did the other day, we've got another one down here. So it's just slightly out of sight. It's a huge box, and this has got a little bit of a mix of goodies for me. Get in it. And... Obviously, Kit Buyers Club stuff is in here as well. But there's a couple of things I've been talking about in recent shows and stuff like that, which I got it in. Because I sliced myself open live on air. Uh, there we go. Just down in here. Right, okay. I can see them all at the top. First up was brushes. A lot of people have been talking about brushes. So I got in some brushes. These are a mixture of good quality and um, cheap and nasty. So down here we've got, these are, whose are these anyway? These were, uh, I think these are, da, 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 da. these are creative models, or these ones are, these ones aren't. Okay, so we've got a couple of sets of those in there. Uh, paperwork bit, just looking for the other. We've got some of these ones as well. Okay, so, you know, we're often talking about brushes and like what are they like and the different types and things like that. So I thought I would have a look at some brushes and to be honest, you've still mine like, mine are like, you know, chimney sweep brushes. Um, so I thought, right, okay. Now to be honest, I thought we'd have more coming in than that. Perhaps we haven't. I got a couple of little tools. One is a reamer, tapered reamer purely because I think it's one of those really handy things to have. Recently, I've been trying to make holes in resin uh, and it was just a horrible mess. So I thought, right, I need a reamer, proper reamer. So I've gone and bought a reamer. So we'll be looking at that at some point. Also, I've got some of these model making clamps and I don't think these are the plastic ones behind, these are metal. It's just that when I'm doing work over there on my pillar drill, things like that, I could have done with a little clamp in metal. Something that's got a little bit more guts, shall we say, than a spring loaded one. So just bought one of those just to have a look. Oh, hold on, I've just found some more brushes. I thought I had some more. So we've got another set, smaller set of brushes, which are gonna go down there. Smaller ones of those, which will go with those. Uh -huh. Right, okay, so 
goodies wise, what have we got? Okay, what have we got? Right, first up, we spoke about this in a lot of the live shows. I tell you, oh look, they bag them these days. Uh, airbrush cleaner. I buy mine in bulk, it comes in sixes. Trust me, it doesn't last that long either. I go through this stuff a lot. So we got uh, a tack of that. Uh, that I'll get out in a minute. That I'll tell you what I'll do last, because that's something we need to talk about. So up first, uh, we've got the MIG, which is just round here actually. This will hopefully, I'm going to do a review with this tomorrow. I'm going to crack on a lot with the Halifax, but if I've got time, I'll do another review for you because I've got going to have reviews coming out of my ears in a minute because they're building up. But this is the Vesda uh, uh, 172 MIG 29. I've heard lots of great things about this kit and I've heard a couple of weird things about this kit. Uh, but it's 172, it seems to be having a rebirth these days. So I'm thinking, right, we're going to have a look at some of their kits. And I saw these guys. Now, this is the uh, resin set for this okay so this has got all the pylons and the weapons fit and everything else and it's obviously edar's brezin stuff uh, and their stuff recently we've looked at it have been absolutely beautiful this has just been released and it's one of those items i thought well i'll probably never use it but i better buy one but it is the weapon set for the mig 29 so i thought if i ever did get around to doing this kit and also we're doing these new builds now where you can you know i'm trying to do what you could add to it if you wanted to so i thought i'd get one of those in so if i do get around to doing that one this will be part of that review with that one uh, okay what have we got kit wise okay let's look in here we have what do we have? Let's find out what we've got in here. Uh, Kit Myers Club stuff, these are back in stock, so we've got a couple of those in. I know they're both going out. Okay, so we've got Land Rovers. These are the Hobby Boss ones, which tend to be very, very nice. So we've got a couple of those. We've also got the other type as well, is it? Yep, yeah, this is the just the Wimmick Wolf. That's the Milan type. Okay, so we've got both of those in now. We've also got in uh, another Mark One. Uh, now this particular kit, if you are interested, I'm going to be building this as my next big armour job uh, because I want to do it in this markings as well and to be honest I mentioned it and that's why one of the guys Kit Buyers Club said which one was it, so it is the Mark 10, this is one I'm going to be tackling in... I don't know, a month or two I'm going to be making my way, but I want to do it in this urban scheme, so that's why that one has come in. All right, these look absolutely fantastic. We've got a couple of these down there. We've got the new Shilkers. Again, I'm going to be reviewing one of these. One of the guys has kindly let me review it. So that will be up probably next week. Again, if you're like me and you fly online a lot, this is the scourge of the A10 because if you're under sort of 7,000 feet, it will have you. Uh, but there we go. So we've got a couple of those in. So we've got one. What else have we got? It's another one. Uh, oh, yeah. Right. Uh, we also got this guy as well. We're running out of room here. Let's get some of these out of the way. Oh, back in there. We've also got this guy. This is the armoured version of the uh, the D9, the R. We've seen this one before and we've reviewed it once before, but this is the next version of it uh, because this is the one that's covered in the armour set and everything else like that. Again, looks to be a very nice kit and obviously we'll be reviewing that very, very soon. Uh, okay, we've got... <laughs> More shacks. Ah. So we've got more Shackletons. I am running out of room here rapidly. So the Shackletons are back in. If everyone was starting to panic that there's no Shackletons around, trust me, they're starting to filter back in. Um, right, we need to make room. Oh God, there's trouble with these boxings. We've got nowhere to put them in. Uh, tell you what, let's move some of this out of the way because I want to show you what we've got here. Now, this is... Can you guess what it is yet? Right, this is something I've been speaking about a lot recently. And to be honest, if you're very, very quick, and here's a quick tip, leg it over to Creative, and if it's still on, because this is where I've bought this one from, they've got a brilliant offer on this set. It's not cheap, but it should be in 100 odd quid, and it's literally half price. But this is actually the Vallejo normal paint set. Okay, now again, I'll do a full proper review on this. But this is their set set. Now, I haven't got any of the white top paints, okay? And when I was looking through at it, I keep saying to myself that doing little detail works in cockpits and stuff like that, hand painting, to be honest, this all goes with the brushes in case you're wondering where I'm going with this. Um, but this is what it's all about, you see. So I was thinking, look, okay, well, I need to get in a selection of just colors. Okay, so in here, we've got everything from greys, um, you know, and the various other colors, but also we've got in here, we've got greens, oranges, yellows, all those colors I don't have. 
okay so it's not like i'm cross contaminating them all because a lot of this colors in here like you know basic skin tone i don't have any of those colors so when we were doing the things about you know obviously uh, figure painting and stuff like that. I haven't got them. So this is what's all in here. Also, I'm hoping some of these blues, because that's basically it's got loads of blues in here, might work for my Thompson, because the only other option is enamels, and I don't really want to go down that route. Uh, and um, the dreaded Aqua Color by Revel, uh, but apparently one of the colors has been discontinued now, so I'm not sure. But in here, there's loads of different shades of blue. So I'm hoping we could get close and then with a little bit of custom mixing, we should be able to give us our Thompson's Blues out of this. But as I said, this is one of those things where for a long time, I've been wanting to get a set of these. You talk to the guys who figure paint, they say just get the normal white top uh, model color ones uh, because they are great and they work really, really well. But it's something I haven't got, but we've got gold here. Look, oh, we've got all the different colors, but I wasn't even sure really what came in this set. But there's a lot of the German colors, but we've got a lot of grays in here and blacks and whites and everything else like it but i thought it would be easier just to grab a set and then that way for life because let's face it, it's going to last me a lifetime i have them all here and because they were on such a good deal with creative i thought right okay we can grab one of those and we'll be good to go so there we go that is about it as i said it's one of these things it's like you know you think about it and you're always yeah i'll get some i'll get some and you you never do but there we go comes in a very nice case as well as you can see but as I said i'll do a proper review on it when we come to talk about painting and brushes and everything else like that because it's something i want to discuss in a couple of weeks time when i get that one sorted thank you for all the kind feedback we had yesterday on the live version i know if you're watching this youtube non-member stuff you didn't see it i literally did i think it was what five minutes live stream a vlog using our brand new software with xsplit now for some reason i've been playing with the webcam it's really grainy uh, i'm not sure what that is the trouble we have with the webcam is a webcam in your face is crystal clear 1080p it looks fantastic as soon as you try and get five guys in it it plays up a bit so i'm maybe finding a way of having this camera i'm recording on now as our webcam it's going to involve a little bit of software and playing around but as long as we don't get any lag we should be absolutely fine uh, and it should work very very well uh, it does have direct out on this camera you see so i can technically run it via a card that we'll put in the computer and do it that way so it is something for it but hopefully you could see the potential i only spent a day playing with it to be honest spent half a day really trying to get to figure it all out and seeing how it works and it made life so much easier you probably would have seen it was seemed to me anyway crystal clear in the forum yeah we could see all the words and the writing and everything else there's no lag as well it was absolutely spot on then we could look at the site and it was crystal clear the downside was actually the stream into the studio to be honest i was sat over there doing my voiceover bit as i was clicking the buttons but i think you know get a separate keyboard over here i should be able to sit here uh, and work it out and make it a lot more interactive uh, and a lot more fun and things like that and that's what we're trying to do here we're just trying to keep one step ahead of the game trying to bring new features to the site uh, and everything else like that so that's what i'm playing with so obviously when we're doing the live stuff or hopefully sorry my computer just turned itself off which is a bit weird uh, but um, hopefully with the live stuff and everything else like that we can be in a situation where you know if we're just streaming or doing various things like that that you know you can be a lot more interactive you can ask questions direct in the feed of it as well you can come on and join us and all bits and pieces like that so hopefully that will give us just a different angle uh, and different ways of doing the same thing all right just to make us a little bit more modern than everything else uh, quick call out from the guys they're saying uh, if you've got anything in the for sale area in the forum please can you tidy it up after a couple of weeks uh, if you've sold it get, tell us we'll get rid of it uh, if you haven't sold it it's going to get deleted anyway after a couple of weeks and obviously you'll have to relist it and things like that it's just that we have asked you know many many times that once you're done let us know and we'll sort it all out because otherwise it just clogs up with all out of date stuff and it just becomes a mess in there and as you know we try and keep things as tidy as we make our way through the forum also had an upgrade uh, overnight i know some of you had trouble with live feeds and stuff like that uh, basically now uh, if you go into the chat it won't work and Unless you've started using it but if you're doing the chat area of your private messaging things like that around to each other you'll notice now it's more like um, you know you can actually see what the other person said 
you know, right before. So you get both sides of the conversation. Instead of it being you don't know unless they've quoted it, it just drops down one below the other. It's a lot cleaner, simpler, easy to use. If you're using the uh, emojis on the site and everything else, the smiley faces, you'll notice that's laid out different as well. It just makes it a little bit easier and it's making it more cleaner and up to date and everything else like that. So hopefully those all those systems went through with no problem at all. So there we go, that's it from me. As I say, tomorrow I'm gonna to be pushing on heavily with the Halifax, you'll get a nice update on that. And then what we're gonna do is have obviously the reviews. You can go off and see the Shackleton is up now. Tomorrow definitely the AMX will be up. If I've got time, I'll get the actual MiG-29 done as well. But tomorrow we're gonna have a look around the forum and stuff like that with our new software. Good up. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. Catch you all tomorrow.